today we will be making banana bread. This is a really simple recipe and it still tastes really delicious and I love eating it for breakfast or as a snack or whatever you want to eat it as. To start, you are going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're going to need a bun pan for this, but you don't have to really prepare that. You can just set it off to the side or spray it if you want to. Now you're going to take a small bowl and you're going to add in one and a half cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then you're just going to twist that around and set it off to the side. Now you're going to grab another small bowl and you're going to get three bananas. These bananas should be ripe. I would say this is about the minimum you want your bananas to be. They can be like all brown and that actually probably makes this even better. But this will still make it taste good. So you're going to peel your bananas and put them in your bowl. to take a potato masher, even though we're actually using this to mash bananas, and you're just going to mash it all together until it gets nice and mushy, I guess. It should look something like this. It doesn't look super appetizing, but you're just going to set that off to the side also. Next, you're going to take your mixer and put your bowl on it. Then you're going to add in one stick of softened butter. Then you're going to put on your paddle attachment. I thought this was the case, so our, we had one of these rubber ones and it broke. Um, and these are great, but so we ordered a new one and we got the wrong size for a smaller mixer. So we'll just have to use the included one, which is terrible, but whatever. So I'm just going to beat that on medium speed for about a minute. After you let your butter beat for about a minute, you're going to keep it on medium speed. And while that's beating, you're going to gradually add in one cup of sugar. you've beaten your sugar, you're going to add two eggs, but you're going to do them one at a time, so just make sure it's all combined after, before adding the next egg. After your eggs are in, you're going to add in your mashed bananas, just give them a little stir, and you don't want to beat it on too high of a speed since it can be like sloshy. Now you're going to add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And two tablespoons of lemon juice. Usually we have lemons already juiced, but we're out, so I have to juice what I can. You should do it over or into a bowl or something first, but that camera that's filming is about to die, so I have to hurry up. Then you're just gonna beat that in. Then you're going to take your flour mixture and beat that in on low speed. Spatula and just make sure there isn't any flour stuck at the bottom. You can spray your pan. Okay, so now you're going to put that in the oven for about 45 minutes if you're using a warm pan. We'll be back to take it out when it's done. When your banana bread is done, you're just going to take it out and put it off to the side to cool. It's really important that you let this cool for the full time so that 
it's not all a mushy mess. I'll be back in like an hour, an hour and a half to take it out. Once you've let your banana bread cool for a little while, you're going to just take a spatula and go around the edges just to loosen it up from the sides of the pan. Some might stick to the pan, but you should cut yourself a piece. And of course, eat it. This is a delicious, easy recipe. And um, you should totally make it because it is really yummy and it's pretty easy. I will see you next time. Goodbye.